Hello, welcome or welcome back to today's episode of beginner friendly hip mobility. Don't worry about all those angle changes. I'm just trying to find out how many perspectives it takes before you are fully discombobulated. Don't you hate it when you click on a hip mobility video or a stretching video in general and the beginner friendly or the beginner exercises look exactly like this? I know you do because sometimes one of you beautiful YouTube people will remind me that I'm overdoing it with the exercises and that I need to step it back a little bit. So this is exactly what we'll be doing today. A very low impact, very high efficiency, beginner friendly hip mobility or hip stretching routine that you can do definitely at any beginner level. If you have only been stretching for a little bit or if you've never stretched before. As for equipment, all we're gonna require today is a resistance band. Now, you don't need one, but having one will make this a little bit easier for you. So if you're ready, let's get right into it. So to make this as easily accessible as possible, we will start laying down on our back and beginning with our hip extensors or our glutes. All we need to do is place your right leg on the left leg, push your knee out, and then we're gonna grab our left leg and pull it closer. Now, if you're already feeling a stretch here, you might as well leave your foot on the ground. If you have a little bit more reach, then of course you can grab it right here at your biceps. And if you have even more reach, then you can grab it right here at your tibia, which is gonna increase the stretch more and more and more as we go. Now try to relax fully into it. If you can, try to lengthen your neck. If you're someone whose neck starts to pull in, the closer you pull in your legs, because you have to get up here, then you might either use a block like so and place your head right there and just enjoy the stretch or you can even use a pillow and get real comfortable with it. Now once we've held the stretch for 30 seconds we will start extending the same leg without moving the right one and try and grab as closely as possible as we can to our toes. The same thing goes again for our head. Elevate it if your neck starts pulling in or if your head starts raising. And now is where we can use the resistance band because most people will not be able to get close to their calves. Most of you might have to grab it right here and we can use the resistance band around our foot to hold on to it. Now we can pull our leg closer and closer without having to strain too much with our upper body, which will help us focus on what we are working on, specifically our hip mobility. And you will have noticed that we have additionally now to our glute stretch on the right side, a complete posterior chain stretch in the left leg, moving all the way down, including our glutes on the left side as well, even though it's a little bit less than the right side for now. Now, of course, the same thing goes for the other side. First, start by pulling in here, hold for 30 seconds, which will be the amount we hold all the static stretches. And once you're done here, you can grab up all the way to your toes, right at your calves, or if you need to, use the resistance band, put it around your feet and pull closer. Now that we've worked a little bit on our glutes and our posterior chain, we can start with doing very easy, low impact hip rotations. And we're gonna combine internal with external rotation in our hips. Try and keep both your shoulders in complete contact with the ground and move your knees as closely to the floor as you can. Now, it doesn't really matter if your end range of motion is here or if it's all the way down to the ground. This is more about going through the movement and over time, of course, through the progression, you will get more and more flexible and then you will be able to bring both your legs in complete contact with the ground while your shoulders are still touching. So move to the left, stay dynamic, move to the right. And I have a little bit of a space issue on the left side, which is why I'm not gonna go into full range of motion, but we will do this for a complete minute. Dynamic hip rotations. They feel really amazing and they are very easy and very simple to use at any given moment. So now that we're fully loose and limber, we can start by pulling in our legs. You can grab them right here around your knees or maybe right there. The closer you grab to your ankles, the more of a glute stretch you will have and the more mobility you will require. And we're gonna add the glutes 
to our hip rotations. And now we're going through full circles, 30 seconds into one direction and then 30 seconds into the other direction. If you enjoyed this, then you might do a second round because they really do feel good and they help us limber up our hip joints in complete rotations while still working a little bit on our glute stretches as well as on our hamstring insertions at the top. Now, I wish we could do all of our exercises in a laying down position, but we will have to sit up and stand up at the very end. But then again, those exercises are still going to be really easy to follow. Now, we will start by sitting down on our foot. If you don't have the mobility to do that, then once again, you can use a block to elevate yourself on the right side, which is going to give you the space to sit down more comfortably. You don't have to use a block. You can use a book or whatever you have. If you don't even have that, then you can start the exercise from right here. And over time, the more limber you get in your quads and in your glutes and in your ankles specifically in the extension phase you will be able to sit down fully in a more relaxed manner and now we're going to combine hip extensor with hip flexor stretch meaning when we push forward we will be opening up our hip flexor on the left side as well as our hip extensor on the right side and then when we sit back even more stretch for our glutes on the right side and now we're adding our hamstrings as well as our calves once we pull in our toes and we want to come as closely to our leg as possible now that might be right here for you it might be all the way down it doesn't really matter as we said with time these exercises will increase in range of motion but this time we're working dynamically push forward if you can bring your knee over your toes that's a very good sign that your ankles are really loose and that you don't need to work on your ankle mobility too much sit down all the way and start pulling forward hold for a second or two before you repeat the entire process again we're flexing our posterior chain and then we are completely relaxing and stretching it a short range of motion for this exercise may look like this forward and backward you're still gonna get the same exact amount of stretch if you are not really flexible by coming this far instead of sitting down all the way but having a bend in your knee which is gonna release all the tension we're trying to build here forward stretch backwards stretch so once we have taken a break between the exercises, if necessary, we will once again switch starting positions in a seated one with our feet right in front. And we're gonna go through internal and external rotation once more, this time in a seated position. Now you will probably have a little bit more range of motion here because you do not have to take care of your back and shoulders being in contact with the ground. However, if you wanna concentrate more on the rotation itself, then having a little bit more additional lumbar rotation, as you can see here, is very good and very helpful for our hip mobility because every single muscle that is connected somehow in close proximity to our hip is responsible for hip mobility. That goes for your lower back musculature as well as your abdominal musculature, not just your hip flexors, not just your glutes or your hamstrings. So we will do this in a seated position, add some spinal rotation by turning our hips outwards once to the left, once to the right. Once again, I have a little bit of a space issue on the left side, but we're trying to go through full range of motion. Complete full minute of dynamic switches. And if necessary, you can once again take a break in between. Now, if you struggle with sitting like this, or you can't really lean back on your arms, then you can do this exact same exercise with a wall behind you. Just lean back very comfortably, and then you can start turning left and right without having to concentrate too much on keeping your upper body fully upright. Now our next exercise will include a little bit more of leg strength, but that is also a very good bonus to have when you're working on your flexibility. So we will start by getting ourselves into a horse stance, which is a white stance, feet turned outward, and we're gonna start pushing our hips down and opening our knees 
as much as we can. If you can bring your knees to follow your toes, that would be absolutely amazing. However, if they start caving in, then that is a sign for you to step a little bit closer and try again. Do your knees follow your feet? Yes, perfect. Do they not and they cave in, then you go inwards a little bit more. Do you have a little bit more mobility? Then you work yourself all the way out and start pushing those knees outwards. Now you're gonna have to stand here statically for 20 to 30 seconds. Again, this is gonna strengthen your quads and strengthen your legs amazing bonus to have and we're still working on our hip mobility which makes this even more effective. Now we've made it to our final exercise which will be a Cossack stretch. So we're gonna start out in an even wider stance but we wanna keep our feet parallel this time because now we wanna start working on our adductors a little bit more so the inside of our legs. So we're gonna start bending on one side pushing our knee forward and trying to sit down as low as we can. Extend fully before you switch to the right side. Only go as low as you can and then to the other side. It's very important that both feet stay parallel, completely flat on the ground. If you're struggling with the stretch from a strength perspective, you can once again use a block like so and switch from one side to the other. Take your time in the movement. Try and enjoy the stretch maybe a little bit. I know most people find it a little bit uncomfortable to say the least, but over time I think you will start enjoying the feeling of a stretch, especially if you're having more success experiences with your stretching. All the way to the left, all the way to the right. And now we're having the tiniest change in this exercise which will be keeping our hips low instead of moving upward first which means that now we're gonna switch from one side to the other while pushing our hips down as low as possible we're still going into full extension in one leg we're still parallel with the feet and full contact with the ground the only thing that changed is that our hips stay low when switching sides instead of moving up and down. Push your hips down and move outward. Now if you have a little bit more flexibility then you can use your elbows to push your knees out the tiniest bit. Of course we're gonna go into full extension before we switch. So now we have a couple of levels for this exercise. You can start up here tiny bends. You can start out here, help yourself out, requiring even less strength in the exercise, and you can concentrate more on the flexibility. And you have another level where you can move sideways. And this low lateral movement with our hips is going to open them up even more. And there you have it, a beginner-friendly hip mobility routine that you can do at any time, hopefully multiple times a week, so you can work on your hip mobility regularly and see more and more success with the exercises. Sadly, I had to cover up my Buddha because apparently the focus is all on him and not on me, which makes me feel really bad inside and it hurts my heart. Now with that said, sadly, that's all the time I have left for you today. However, if you like the video, like the video and subscribe. And please check out other videos on this channel because we literally have new ones every single day. I'm not even exaggerating. So until tomorrow, catch the